Hi everyone! I bought some things from Shins. And I wanted a new blush brush because I don't know, I'm somehow not satisfied with my 116 from MAC. Uh, and so I was thinking, you know, there must be a better brush. Um, I went, well, I'll tell you um, the rest of the story later, but I'm going to show you the stuff that I bought. I bought from Eco Tools. And it's the blush brush. The, it says it's a friendly beauty. Um, soft, cruelty free bristles, natural and recycled mater material, and reusable um, storage pouch. So it's a 100% cruelty free soft Teflon brush. And this one costs 45 ringgit. Um, it's very big, very dense. And It looks like this okay so it's a bit tapered like that it's very tapered so you can really um, use it to apply bronzer uh, do contouring for the side of your face as well as apply um, a blush now it's extremely soft which I'm very surprised with um, sorry about the hijab, um, there's a fan right there, it's extremely hot today, so it's blowing my um, hijab around. Anyway, it's extremely, extremely soft, and the thing is, it's, um, it's kind of like a dome-shaped brush. Now, um, the 116 looks a bit similar to this, but I don't like it, I feel that it's a bit sparse, and... Um, it's not to my liking so I did went to MAC and I did have a look at the 116 brush and it is nothing like this so I really like this I think this is um, I don't know maybe maybe it's similar to the 116 as well as the 135 if, they, if it had a baby um, because it's very tapered very 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 tapered I really like it. It's very very soft and it's just nice for the apples of the cheeks. Um, it is very dense, so when you blend, when you apply your blush, it will immediately blend out the color for you. So you don't need to do vigorous um, blending. So this is a very good brush, and it's only it's forty five ringgit as compared to hundred plus from Mac, much softer than that as well. Um, and then. I did buy another thing from Eco Tools because um, I don't have uh, a brush that I can keep in the bag. Um, if I do keep the brushes that and uh, the traveling brush brushes from uh, from Mac in the bag, it's going to ruin the bristles, and I don't like that. Um, so I bought another um, thing from Eco Tools, and it's the retractable Kabuki brush, and this is a recycled aluminum and um, it's also made from the synthetic uh, Teclon brushes which is 100% cruelty free so um, it comes like this so you just open up just like that and you can uh, this is a very short and very cute um, brush now the thing about um, the thing about uh, Eco Tools brushes is that okay if you apply if you apply vigorously like for example you do like that it doesn't really mess up the hair it messes up just a little bit but it's easy to you know put it back to normal um, for example when I use the 116 brush um, if I do it vigorously to just blend out the, the blush uh, if I do it vigorously to blend out the brush like uh, the blush like that it will just mess up the brush and it's a bit hard to you know put it back to normal so I don't really like it for the fact um, I mean I I don't really like the 116 brush and I prefer this one better um, so the what so this is the retractable kabuki brush which is very very cute it's very very dense and you can use it to apply um, blush all over your no no not blush all over your face a powder all over your face as well as a blush so it fits perfectly in the uh, apples of the cheeks 
and then um, if you want a more concentrated color um, for your bronzer you can push it up just like that and then you can apply the bronzer right there and then you can put it back like um, push it back and then you can blend out the bronzer so that there is no harsh line between your blush and your bronzer so this one costs 65 ringgit I think it costs a little bit more because of the aluminum but it still costs less than MAC um, MAC doesn't have a, well it, they have kabuki brushes but they don't have it in a retractable form so this is really good if I want to bring it um, put it inside my bag and then touch up the blush whenever I want it to. Um, so that was 65 ringgit from Shins. Now, um, if you go to Shins, uh, the thing about them is that um, they do have like a membership kind of thing and um, they give you a card. Uh, so every one ringgit that you spend, you will get, uh, uh, you get one ringgit for one point. Now, um, according to them, um, if you have more than a thousand points, you will get a 20 ringgit voucher. So mine expires in 2012. So that's a long, long time to go. So yeah, I can, I can assure you, I think I'm able to achieve that. Anyway, so I went to Mac before that and all the hype about, you know, the Mac, Mac in hang, uh, not, not hang in the groove. So it is in the groove collection. Um, I didn't see anything that I like. There was a lot of things. Um, there was uh, the lipsticks, the, uh, the MSFs, um, the blushes. And I didn't see the eyeshadows though. They, it came out today, but I didn't see the eyeshadows, um, which is weird. Um, but the, the, the lipstick, I thought that I wanted the jazz lipstick. But I didn't I didn't like it it just it looks too orange on my skin it looks too pale on my skin so I can't really carry it off so I didn't buy that and um, I looked at the blushes I wasn't interested I think I have a um, better selection of blush colors um, at the moment however and then I look at the um, first I look at the petticoat MSF um, it was pink it wasn't red or it wasn't um, it wasn't what I was expecting it to be it was more pink than red I was expecting something more of a pinkish reddish kind of color so not that nice and it was a bit frosty um, as per what some people were saying about petticoat now all the hype about um, um, stereo rose hmm, it was okay I did buy it it was 116 ringgit and that's the color right there hold on mm, yeah that's the color right there now it's a bit it's um I got a I got the um, more of the orange and peachy veining and it's on my cheeks right now I think that this would be a better I mean this would be an everyday blush um, if you really want an intense or a nighttime blush this would not be it um, this would be more of a, um, a daytime blush and it's more natural on the cheeks as you can see mm -hmm. there we go it's more natural it's, um, it, it's nice if you want to um, use this as a blush with a smoky eye or um, with a very intense lips so it would be great for that because it won't um, it won't overpower one or the other so it'll be a, a great uh, blush for that because it's really really natural I really like it this one was um, 115 I'll just show it to you again the color just in case you guys want to buy it it's not a must um, for me it's not really um, something that you really need to have in your collection if you are an avid um, MSF collector you do need to buy it but if you're not and you're just looking for something that is um, more natural um, blush you know you can consider to buy this one uh, or well, in my case I just want to have it because everyone is talking about it so buy it 
um, that's it for now. I'm already at 10 minutes. Um, I'll talk to you guys very soon. Bye.